Hey Sainers, welcome back to the Saints TV YouTube channel. Welcome to Trade Talk. Uh, I've just been filming another draft video with Pommy and Oz, so that'll be coming out in the next day or two. But I did notice that uh, the AFL have confirmed that Western Bulldog midfielder Jack McRae has just nominated St Kilda. So the, what we've been talking about is uh, has come to fruition. It is true. Kel Toomey has just reported Western Bulldogs premiership player Jack McRae wants to go to St Kilda. After requesting a trade last week, McRae is keen to go to the Saints. He has three years left on his contract with the Dogs. Uh, he's on, I think, big money. I'm not sure if it's completely a salary dump, uh, but you'd imagine we would be able to get this done fairly quickly um, with a much later pick. Uh, potentially beyond 43, pick 60 maybe, could be even in the in the frame with the list spots. So I think it's a really good acquisition. I think um, this is a sort of, you know, experienced player that when you lose a Seb Ross, you know, the I guess the, the body of Brad Crouch may not stand up next season. Um, I think the support for Jack Steele and obviously the getting some young players in through the draft and obviously the young existing midfielders that we've already got. I think a player like Jack McRae, who is just been there and done that midfielder and he knows how to find the football. He definitely knows how to use the football. Um, I think that's going to be a really good education and experience for the rest of our team. Um, I think it's quite shrewd and it's your classic sort of money ball, um, you know, sort of um, acquisition. So I don't mind that at all. If we just go through sort of where he's at. I love that they've they got him as a medium forward, as if like he, he hasn't been one of their best mids in the last like seven years. Um one ninety two centimeters, so he is deceptively tall. He's a he's a tall player. I don't I think Bont's one ninety three or one ninety four to be sort of um to, to put into comparison. Like that's almost Tim Membry height, one ninety two. So although on screen he does look like he's one of the smaller mids, he is definitely not. Um, he's 30, but I think he's got some, definitely got some football ahead of him. Um, player stats. So this is season average versus career average. Obviously season average. Take that with a grain of salt because I think he was a sub in a couple of games. So that's why they're down. But in terms of his career average, you know, averaging nearly 28 disposals per game over your career, four marks. The, you know, the really top thing is 4.5 tackles per game for a midfielder is elite and Ross is definitely going to like that. He's not just your soft outside player. He's actually quite physical, puts his body on the line and obviously very good pressure wise. 2023 was kind of when, um, you know, he's gotten a consistent run and just look at those. Yeah. 33, 25, 30, 21, 24, 29, 26, 29, 23, 26. He's, he's your, you know, stand and deliver midfielder. And I think that's critical in the development of our squad. I think he makes us better. If you told me, you know, you're going to lose Seb Ross, but you're going to get a Jack McRae, um, then I think we would all say, yeah, that's that's pretty decent. You know, he's going to play, his debut is going to be game 250, by the way. So that's going to be big. Game one and game 250. I don't know how many players can say they've done that. Um, he was 2014, 2018, 2021. Club best player in finals 2021. Garrier's medal 2021. All-Australian, three-time All-Australian. Um, Premiership player 2016. Yeah, I mean, I think it's I think it's, it's a good bit of business that we can get done. Obviously, I don't know what his salary looks like, I guess, because he's got three years left on his contract, so he might salary-wise cost us a little bit, but I think we've got the money. You know, everyone talks about the war chest and... Considering the pick capital that we're going to have to give up to get him, it's going to be very minimal. It's not going to affect what we're going to do in terms of the long-term strategy. Um, I think it's absolutely important to get players like him in, um, into that midfield for more depth, more experience, uh, more class. Absolutely. He's very clean with the football. Um, and just, you know, just to get straight to the point, he makes us better. He does make us better. I don't think this is a... Dan Hanabry situation. It, some people jump the gun and talk about it like it's in that realm. It's not in that realm because we're going to give up nothing for him apart from money. So I think that he's been undervalued at the dogs the last couple of years. And I think that for us, he's definitely like, is he in our starting midfield? I wonder, is that, is that the point, you know, Jack Steele, Jack McRae, Hunter Clark, 
Would that be sort of the the starting midfield? Mateus Filippo through there as well. It just adds another string to our bow. Um, and for a player that is desperate for midfield minutes, there's not many clubs better than to, to go to St Kilda where I think, um, you know, we're going to absolutely, we need that sort of class in there. And um, I'm really excited for it. I welcome him with open arms. I think that... Um, all Saints fans should be pretty happy with this. Again, player that just wants to come to St Kilda. He's we're going to get our two top ten draft picks in the end, probably with Josh Battle's compensation, Jack McRae potentially Soldo or Reeves, Elwood Pickett, Cole uh, as an NGA. Um, that's not a decent. That's a pretty decent sort of um, twenty twenty four draft and trade period, if you ask me. So, I think North Melbourne might have been interested in him. What we need, I think, it's a really important. Um, step for us, I think, you know, Jack Steele has been growing the last sort of, I guess, eight to nine weeks of the season, but I think he needs that added support. We, we looked at how good Brad Crouch and Jack Steele were in 2023. We didn't quite have that combination this year due to Brad Crouch not playing really any games. I think that having him in there, um, is only going to take the pressure off Steele. Hopefully that means he can go back to a bit more of his attacking football that he's absolutely capable of. And at the same time, we'll be able to nurture the, the youth coming through, particularly whoever we get at pick eight, pick nine, um, with the compensation that I'm assuming we get, they're going to be two mids. And uh, to, to walk in through the door and have Steele, McRae, maybe even a, a fit Brad Crouch, that'd be unbelievable. I think that's um, absolutely um, only going to make us better for... For the immediate, the short term, but obviously then for the long term with the um, the growth of the the youth that we're investing in. So, Jack McRae has nominated St Kilda. It is done. We should be getting him fairly comfortably. I don't think it's going to be much, um, you know, pushback from the Bulldogs. I think they'll look to facilitate this relatively quickly. Um, put it in the comments. Let me know if you're happy about this acquisition. Jack McRae will be a St Kilda player next season. Thanks again, Sainers, and I'll see you soon. And as always, go you mighty Sainers. See you guys.